Hello, this is Eritapo with you here and today I'm going to be showing you how to go from Windows to stock Chrome OS. So if you, ha if you don't know what this video is about, it's basically going from Windows on your Chromebook back to Chrome OS. Say for instance you didn't like it or something, so yeah. And if you didn't see the video how to go on Windows, uh, I, I put a card annotation somewhere and then you just click on it and go and watch it. Okay. So for those who actually didn't believe that this is actually real, it's like a, you thought it was a virtual thing, here's Acer Chromebook, as you can see. You see? And I'm actually going to turn it on right now, so, right. As you can see, it's booting up. Right. And here you go, here's Windows 8.1 that I downloaded on my, on uh, my Chromebook. And as you can see, touch bad works, I don't, I don't think you could see it actually in the camera. But, let me try to, you see that? It's working. Keyboard is actually typing. See? Okay, so I'm gonna skip ahead to when we are up to the next step. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go on your other Windows computer, it can be Mac as well, and it doesn't have to be your computer, it can be anyone's computer. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to install and open Rufus, and then you want to grab yourself a USB and plug it into the computer. And as you can see, you can see my USB name right here. Okay. So what you want to do now, is you want to click right here on this like CD drive. You want to click on it and then you want to find your your um, uh, Chromium OS uh, ISO file. And also what you want to do, is you want to click right here and click on all files. Because sometimes that makes it easier. Okay, so as you can see, this is my image file for the, for the Chromium OS. I'm going to try to leave a link down below to download it, but it's not really easy to find them, so yeah. Okay, so you want to select it then, and um, you just want to click start, and then you want to wait until this bar is green, and then you just want to close it and done. Okay, so I'll see you at the next step. Okay, so once you are back to your Chromebook, what you want to do is you want to turn it off, and then you want to take the USB that installed Chromium OS on it, and you want to plug it in. And now you just want to turn it on once it's plugged in. And you want to click enter. And you're just gonna have to wait until it actually boots up everything. Okay. So that took around uh, 50 seconds and um, what you want to do now, as you can notice it's very laggy, you might want to change the keyboard to your keyboard because you might understand it more, but I'm just going to keep it how it is. And then what you want to do is you want to click on Control, Alt, and then this back arrow right here, you see this? You want to click on that. Actually. Never mind, you actually you have to click Control Alt and then this arrow right here. You see? Okay, so then what you want to type in is Chronos. It will be really laggy. I'm not sure why it is so laggy, but I'll just skip ahead once it's not being laggy anymore. Okay, so it's not laggy anymore. So what you want to type in is Chronos. So that's C H R. O N O S. So C H R O N O S. Once click enter and the password is password. So literally just password. Okay, so once you get in here, well what you want to do is type in sudo super user. So sudo su okay. Click enter and then type in the password again, which is password. And uh, once you type in the password, what you want to do is type in Chrome OS, so that's together, then dash install 
base dash dash dst dev slash sda and um, so there's a space between dst and then you want to click y and also just saying if you do not if it does not work for you what you want to do is i'm gonna put up right here where she where you should skip to if um, it gives you an error once you type in this command so i'll skip ahead once this is finished okay so once this is finished what you want to do is you want to unplug the usb you want to click escape or you can just click that okay so for those um who got, got an error message once typed in the command uh, to install Chromium OS onto your uh, Chromebook, what you now have to do is uh, just just turn it off with the USB inside of it, because I'm not gonna need to do this because um, I I installed it onto my hard drive. Okay, so if you could still see a blue light uh, at the bottom here, you want to click Escape, Refresh, and tap the power button, and then you want to click Enter. So, just as I said, if you got an error message, what you want to do is you just want to leave this USB stick with the uh, Chromium OS in it. Okay, so once it has booted up, what you want to do is you just want to set up as a Chromebook as you would normally. So I'll skip ahead once I've done all my passwords. Okay, so once it has booted up, what you want to do is you want to go into the Chrome Web Store. And once you are in the Chrome Web Store, you want to type in recovery. Uh, Chrome OS will, uh, Chromium OS will be pretty slow because it's not a stock version of it. Okay, so once you type in recovery, you want to do download the Chromebook recovery utility. And I've already downloaded it. Okay, so what you want to do once you've downloaded it, just close it and just open it up. And now I want to take the USB that I had Chromium OS in it and just plug in. Oh, and also people who had to leave this, um, this USB in. Skip ahead to the, the time right here. Okay, so once you have plugged it in, what you want to do is you want to click right here. And you want to click Erase Recovery Media. You have to do this if you do not want to break your, your USB. You want to click Continue and Erase Now. Okay, so you want to click Done. And now, you want to unplug this. And uh, you want to take the... Take a new USB, so I'm just going to take a new one, quickly. Okay, so I've got a new one, it's exactly the same as the old one. What you want to do, is you want to plug it in, and then open up Chromebook Recovery Utility. And you want to click on, um, get started and you want to just like select your mod, uh, your company, your product, like what Chromebook you have and then you just want to click continue but I've already done this so I'll skip ahead to the next step so what you want to do then is you want to click on Control alt t which will open up this and I'm not sure why it's green okay so I actually can't change it but what you want to do is you want to uh, just leave this open I want to type in a uh, drive, just drive, like Google Drive, and um, if you watch my video, my how to install a Windows on the Chromebook, you should have a file called backup.bin, uh, or something like that, let me just quickly find mine, what you want to do is you just want to download it. Not sure if it's downloading, nope. 
Yep, now it is. Okay. We just need to wait until this finishes downloading. Okay, so once it is downloaded, as you can see here, is you want to click on files. And you want to wait for it to load up. Okay, so once that's loaded up, you will see your backup BIOS file. So what you want to do is um, you just want to rename it to something like just back up, just backup dot bin. Okay. And what you want to do now is you want to go here and uh, you want to type in CD. On actually, you want to type in shell. Now CD. And the uh, CD, I will have the, the commands up here on the thing. So CD, capital D, downloads. Okay, so once you are in your down, downloads folder, what you want to do is you want to type in sudo flash rom dash v back up dot bin. So where, it's, where it is back up, where am my one I changed mine to backup you need to change yours to whatever you put your name as and you want to click enter and you want to type in the password which is password and you just I'm just gonna quickly skip ahead once this is done Okay, so once it is finished, you should see Wordified Success. So what you want to do is close it and leave. Just close everything. And you want to unplug the recovery that you put on the USB. So you want to unplug that as well. What you want to do now is just turn it off. You, will, you should get a white screen, but if you don't, you're lucky. Okay, so you just want to turn it on. And you should get this. You just want to click Control D. If you don't get it, you'll, you just have to just don't do anything. Okay, so once you get this message, which says Chrome OS is missing or damaged, please insert a recovery USB stick. So now, you want to take your Chrome OS recovery USB and you want to plug it in. And I'm going to quickly skip through this. Okay, so as you can see there's a tick now and it says system recovery is complete. What you want to do is you just want to unplug. It should restart. Okay, so if you don't want to go into developer mode, you just need to click space and then and then just click enter. But I actually do want to go into developer mode, so I won't do that. If you want to stay in developer mode, all you need to click is control D. Okay, so what you want to do now is just register normally. So I'm going to skip through this. Okay, so once you have logged in, you want to plug this back in. And you want to check if you have the recovery downloaded. If you don't, just go and download it. And then you just want to open it. You want to click on Erase Recovery Media, and you want to select select that one or whatever you have. 
I'm going to click continue, erase now, and that's you done into Chrome, stock Chrome OS. And what you would do now, if you want to put back in this right protect screw right here, this right protect screw, let me just quickly focus it. Well, you see that there's a screw that we took out in the video. If you want to just put it back in, there's, there's really no point. It doesn't change anything. But, yeah. You just unscrew, you would just turn it off right now and just unscrew it and put, screw it back in where you took it out of. But yeah, that's everything back to normal. I'm just going to quickly turn it off. And then turn it back on to show you that there is no no like windows loading thing just turn it back on so you just like normal so yeah let me know if this worked for you and yeah subscribe and like and bye